uh, this was our excel this was our excel this was our data this was our data right the first thing we saw was the correlation coefficients and we saw that uh, the correlation between uh, the explanatory variable and the response variable is fairly strong so we went ahead I, we said yeah this looks like a, uh, this look, looks like a good set of explanatory variables to have we cal uh, we calculated the log e expression log expression is nothing but beta naught plus beta 1 x1 plus beta 2 x2 plus beta 3 x3 plus beta 4 x4 which came from uh, here right then we calculated the odds odds are essentially exponential of uh, the log uh, log of odds and then we calculated the probability probability was exponential plus one uh, exponential divided by one plus exponential which is this so this is the predicted value of uh, uh, probability of the student getting job from here we calculated that the probability that the estimate will be correct right uh, the model estimate will be correct model prediction will be correct and we saw that uh, this probability is 0.975 however this probability is 0.995 even though the probability of day zero job was only 0 0.04 and that was because here the y is equal to actually zero here the y was one then we took a log of these uh, uh, probabilities and this was our objective to maximize this log summation of log which was written here sum of all the log probabilities and we use this as our objective function told excel that the excel should maximize this value by adjusting these values so this these are the these are the estimated values of betas which maximize the log likelihood which maximize the log likelihood okay now let us go back and discuss some logic Okay, we have seen the excel sheet. Now let us come back to logic. So uh, we have tried to explain the calculations in the excel sheet uh, in the excel sheet itself. Let us let us put some logic behind all this. So uh, uh, so first we saw that the excel sheet calculates the probability that the student will be placed. That was the probability of y equal to 1 and that was the forecasted probability, right? This is the probability that the model predicts. From this probability, uh, we actually want to see whether the student will get placed or not, right? Our response variable, remember, is only binary. We don't want the probability of y is equal to 1. We actually want the value of y, right? So we don't want probability of y is equal to 1. We want the value of y. We don't want this. We want this, right? So how do we do that? One simple way to do that is to define a threshold value of the probability. Right. Let us define a threshold probability. So uh, let us say that uh, if the forecasted probability of uh, y is equal to 1 is above certain threshold, we will then code y is equal to 1. And if the uh, probability of uh, y is equal to 1 is less than that threshold, uh, then we will code y is equal to 0. Right. Uh, if the forecasted uh, probability is below that threshold, then we can say that uh, the y is equal to 0 and therefore the student the, the model will predict that the student will not get placed. The model is predicting that the student will not get placed if the probability is below certain threshold. Right. So uh, let us let us see that in Excel again. So this is what I mean. So here we have defined that cutoff. I have defined the cutoff to be 0 0.5. So what what uh, where am I using the cutoff? I am using the cutoff on this probability, probability that, a probability that uh, the student will get a job on day 0. So if this probability is more than threshold, so 0.97 is more than 0.5, I will classify as y as 1. So this is the, remember, this is the predicted value of y. This is predicted y. This is predicted y. The probability of y is equal to 1 calculated from the model is 0 0.975 this 0 0.975 is more than 0 0.5 and therefore i will code y is equal to 1 this is my prediction for this student similarly my prediction for the second student i will look at the probability of day, day one job 
just to tell you the expression, right? I am looking at this probability, checking whether this probability is more than threshold and uh, defining y to be 1 or 0, as I had mentioned in the slide. So essentially, this is my predicted value of y and this is my actual value of y. This is my actual value of y. So these are the actual values and these are the predicted values. These are the predicted values. So my prediction is right, 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 right. Huh. This is the first instance where my prediction from the model seems to be incorrect. My, my, my prediction for the model, uh, my prediction from the model uh, for this particular student uh, said that the student will not get placed, y will be 0. Now why did we say y was 0? because I calculated the probability of a student getting job on day 0, that probability turned out to be 0.466 predicted from the model. That 0.466 turned out to be lesser than my threshold. My threshold was at 0.5. And then I said since the, uh, the calculated or the estimated probability is lesser than the threshold, I will codify my y to be 0. Turns out that the actual value of y was 1. So this is the first instance that my model has predicted incorrectly, incorrectly. So once again, right now let us not focus on that. These are the actual values of y, observed values of y. These are the predicted values of y. Now I have gotten my model to uh, tell me clearly apples and oranges. These probabilities don't help me much, right? These probabilities don't help me that much. I need this threshold. So I hope uh, things are okay so far. I hope things are okay so far. So I used day zero probability and defined a threshold over that. And then we said any probability above the threshold, we will codify y to be one. Any probability lesser than threshold, see any probability lesser than threshold, this 0.37 is lesser than 0 0.05. So we will codify y to be zero. Right, and we did that for all the data points. Sometimes our model is going to be right, sometimes our model is going to be wrong. Look at all these instances, look at all this. Here, uh, we already saw this here, right? Uh, look at this, this instance, look at this instance, right? This student uh, has a good uh, MBA CGPA 7.89, uh, decent experience, uh, decent uh, UG CGPA, extracurricular activities are good. Actually, the student did get placed on day zero. My model predicted that the student will not get placed on day zero. So once again, I am wrong. The model is wrong. Right. And why is model wrong? Because the model calculated the probability that a student will get placed. 0.23 was the probability. 0.23 turned out to be lesser than the threshold. 0.23 turned out to be lesser than the threshold. And therefore, we codified y to be equal to zero. Similarly, the probability that the student will get placed was estimated to be 0 0.4, 0 0.274 by the model. 0.274 was much lesser, lesser than the threshold and therefore y was codified to be 0. Obviously, sometimes the model will get it right, sometimes the model will not get it right. Okay. The question then is, right now, my definition of this threshold probability seems to be arbitrary. How did I decide on 0.5? Why did I say that anytime this probability, anytime this probability is more than 0.5, I will codify y to be 1 and any anytime this probability is lesser than 0.5, I will codify the y to be 0. How did we, how did we decide on this 0.5? There has to be some a solid uh, mathematical or statistical logic for this, right? Let us do that in the next session.